ओके सो इन इंडस्ट्रियल मैनेजमेंट वी इट इज़ द लास्ट टॉपिक रिसेंट ट्रेंड इज इंडस्ट्रियल मैनेजमेंट इट इज़ अ पार्ट टू वीडियो और पार्ट वन इज ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड सो इन पार्ट टू वो डिस्कस द मोर कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस सब्जेक्ट अबाउट द रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स इन इंडस्ट्रियल मैनेजमेंट ओके सो द एजेंडा At first, we should learn about the introduction to supply chain management (SCM), the benefits of SCM, the logistics (SMED), and the ERP versus SCM. So, this is our today's agenda. So, let's get started. At first, it is the time to learn about the supply chain management. So, it is plays a crucial role in industrial management by overseeing the flows of goods, information, and finances from the raw materials suppliers to the end customer. It involves the coordination and integration of various activities including the procurement, production, inventory management, logistics, and distribution to ensure the efficient and cost-effective operation throughout the supply chain. In industrial management, the effective supply chain management offers several key benefits. At first, the cost reduction. The SCM helps to identify the cost saving opportunities across the supply chain by optimizing the inventory levels reducing the transportation cost and streamlining the production processes by eliminating the waste and in in efficiencies industrial organizations can lower operating expenses and improve the profitability inventory optimization SCM enables the industrial organizations to maintain the optimal inventory levels by balancing the supply and demand minimizing the stock outs and reducing the excess inventory by implementing inventory optimization techniques such as git we will discuss in future git in this video the vendor managed inventory vmi organizations can improve the cash flow and minimize the holding cost enhanced efficiency scm enhances the operational efficiency by streamlining the process reducing the lead times and improving the resource utilization throughout through the better coordination and collaboration with suppliers so some another process like customer satisfaction innovation and collaboration improve quality and compliance and risk mitigation enhance efficiency etc so overall the supply chain management is a critical component of industrial management that enables organizations to optimize the resources mitigate the risks and deliver the value to customer effectively by adopting the best practices in supply chain management and leveraging advanced technologies industrial organizations can achieve operational excellence and sustain the long term success in today's competitive business environment so the benefits like the supply chain management offers the numerous benefits to organizations across the various industries so some key advantages like cost reduction improved efficiency and uh, enhanced customer satisfaction inventory optimizations risk mitigation strategic supplier relationships and regulatory compliance and innovation and competitive advantage so overall the effective supply chain management enables the organizations to optimize the resources mitigate the risk enhance the customer satisfaction and achieve their strategic objectives in today's dynamic and competitive business environment okay so scm is also help in business analytics logistics time to market the plan distribution procurement and profitability of the market and businesses okay so now it is time to discuss about the logistics logistics is a critical component of supply chain management that focuses on efficient planning implementation and control of the movement and storage of goods services and information within the supply chain it encompasses a wide range of activities including the transportation warehousing inventory management order fulfillment packaging and distribution within the context of scm the logistics plays a critical role in ensuring the smooth flow of materials and products from the suppliers to manufacturer distributors retailers and ultimately to end customers so some key logistics concepts like transportation management logistics involves the managing the transportation of goods from suppliers to production facilities warehouse distribution centers and ultimately to customers it includes selecting the appropriate mode of transportation like road rail air sea and optimizing the transportation routes to minimize the cost and lead time warehouse and inventory management logistics include the storage and handling and management of inventory in warehouse and distribution centers it involves optimizing the warehouse layout organizing the inventory storage implementing the inventory control system and managing the stock levels to ensure the efficient order fulfillment and managing the holding cost supply chain visibility and tracking logistics provide the real time visibility of 
and tracking of goods throughout the supply chain. It involves the implementing technologies such as the barcode scanning, right, GPS, IoT sensors to track the shipments, monitor inventory levels and provide the accurate delivery estimates to customers and others also performance measuring, KPI, key performance indicator. So in summary, the logistic is an integral part of supply chain management. You can see in this picture that focuses on the efficient and effective movement of goods and information across the entire of technologies, advanced technologies, we can say. The organizations can improve supply chain visibility through the logistics and competitiveness in today's global marketplace. Okay. Now, it is time to discuss about the concept of SMED. SMED stands for the single minute exchange of dye. And it is an important concept in industrial management and the lean manufacturing that aim to reducing the setup and or change over times for production equipment and processes. See here the production or equipment or the change over time. What is this? Actually, you can imagine a industry. The industry uh, from few years work on one project. But uh, in recent times, the industry need to shift the project equipment to grow a new project or develop a new project from the old project. Okay, so the industry requires some setup configuration to modify the changes. It should require. So industry uh, think about that, that how it can be managed. Okay, how the requirements and uh, the shifting process will be held. Okay. Uh, you can uh, see the setup reduction means the setup process how the configuration management works and uh, how much thinking will be changed for the new project for, from one project to another project the how times of reductions how much reductions or how much setup is required for shifting from one project to new project that time is called the change over time okay that's why it's called change over time so it is the required time like internal and external setup, setup reduction. The primary focus of SMED is on reduction the time required to change over from producing one product or batch to another. This includes the activities such as equipment, adjustment, tooling changes and material handling and calibration. SMED distinguishes between internal and external setup activities. The internal setup activities are those that can only be performed when the machine is stopped. While external setup activities can be concluded or conducted while the machine is still running, the goal is to convert as many internal setup activities to external ones to minimize the downtime. Okay. So, standardization and pre setup, parallelization. Another SMED technique involves parallelization, where multiple setup activities are performed simultaneously by different team members or using specialist equipment. The Kaizen and we already discussed Kaizen 5S model, right? And continuous improvement. So SMED also use 5S Kaizen model. The organizations can identify the bottlenecks, inefficiencies and opportunities for a streamlining setup and processes further approach. Okay, so overall SMED is a powerful tool in industrial management that enables the organizations to achieve the greater efficiency and agility in their production process by systematically reducing the setup times and eliminating the worst. Companies can optimize the resource utilization and improve the competitiveness and meet the dynamic demands of the market more effectively. So now it is time to discuss about the difference between the ERP and SCM. So you can say that ERP is a body and SCM is a brain. Okay. So uh, ERP is also the complex task. It involves the multiple various processes. But SCM, SCM is a supply chain management. It's, it is a chain just like uh, you can conclude that. Because... Without any SCM management, how ERP will work? ERP is just a software, right? But uh, ERP is work in uh, SCM, under SCM, right? So without any SCM, ERP is just uh, like a static object, you can think about. Okay. And uh, it is, ERP is relatively slower than SCM because SCM can think faster because it is a supply chain management, right? It includes the big part of an industry or organizations. So that's why... So you can uh, see the ERP and SCM's differences. So that's it for this chapter. Okay. So we cover the each topic uh, in this subject or the, the last chapter in industrial management, the recent trends. So that's it. And for the next upcoming videos, we will discuss and deep dive into the further chapters uh, like uh, material management. Okay.
so that's it thanks for watching and if you have any query you can just comment below we will reply okay thanks